Hi guys, we are continuing with the solution of uh, day 3, a selected problem from InfiTQ module 1 that is fundamentals of Python and we are going to solve the fourth problem of day 3 and the 14th problem overall. This problem is basically a Chinese puzzle where the number of heads and the number of legs are given in a particular farm and we know that the farm is constituted of chickens and rabbits and we have to say how many chickens and rabbits are present in the farm. So as we know heads and legs are constituted by rabbits for legs the, num uh, the number of legs that rabbits have are uh, 4 and the number of uh, legs that chicken have are 2 and for heads both of them are 1 uh, for chicken and rabbit so let's go to our pie charm and let's code this problem so what we have uh, got in our output uh, what we have to get in our output is the number of uh, rabbits and the number of chickens but what we are provided in our input is the number of heads and the number of legs so let's first take it in the input heads is equal to int input enter the number of uh, heads and for legs is equal to int input enter the number of legs so I have got the number of heads and the number of legs and uh, let's form linear equations from it since we know heads are con constituted by both rabbits and chickens and they have a contribution of one each so c plus r is equal to the number of heads and we know that the number of legs since chicken has two legs and rabbit has four legs so 2c in 2 into the number of chickens and 4 into the number of rabbits would be giving me the total number of legs that are present in the farm the uh, we can simplify the first one as uh, Either that or we can, uh, I was thinking of multiplying 2 into uh, bo uh, both halves, uh, both of the sides, but we can also half this, right? We can half this and get C plus 2R is equal to 0.5 into the number of legs. Okay, we have got it and we can subtract 2 from... Uh, 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 1 from 2 and we would get r is equal to um, it would be 0.5 into legs minus heads so we are getting the uh, equation for rabbits and suppose r is the number of rabbits here so it would be 0 0.5 into the number of legs minus the number of heads now we have to check whether we are getting any decimal or not if we are getting any decimal is it possible to constitute any number of rabbits and hence uh, any number of rabbits from the heads and legs given obviously no there cannot be a rabbit with one leg obviously that can be but considering an ideal situation where every rabbit has four legs and a chicken has two legs there cannot be a situation where a rabbit has one uh, one leg or two legs or three legs it has to have four legs and a chicken has to have two legs so what we would be checking that if the number of if rabbits is a decimal or not so in order to check that we would be importing the math function and we would be checking if the ceiling value is equal to the 4 value or not if both of them are equal then rabbit is an integer and it can be successfully constituted using uh, the number of heads and legs given if it is not then we would be providing no solution as our answer if uh, math dot seal of r is equal to equal to 
math dot seal of math dot floor of r then would we then we would be getting um, r as the output uh, then we would be getting uh, a certain amount number of rabbits and uh, hence as the output else we would be getting no solution okay else print no solution so if both of them are equal the number of rabbits would be equal to integer of r and um, the number of chickens would be the number of heads minus r obviously uh, the count of heads is made by uh, adding both number of chickens and rabbits so we would be getting the number of chickens by subtracting the number of rabbits from heads and we would be printing this uh, chickens colon space is equal to c and number of rabbits colon space would be r so these are the number of chickens c is the number of chickens and r is the number of rabbits that we have got from our uh, code uh, let's run our code uh, let's enter the first input that is 150 and 400 and see whether we get the correct output or not 150 and 499 not 400 so we get 100 chickens and 50 rabbits and 100 chickens and 50 rabbits is the correct answer for 3 and 11 legs 3 heads and 11 legs let's run this and 3 heads and 11 legs we are getting no solution so our code is working here also fine and uh, for 3 and 12, uh, for 3 heads and 12 legs, we would be getting uh, 0 chickens and 3 rabbits and that is the solution here. So, I guess we have successfully uh, passed all the test cases here and our code is very much correct for this particular problem. So, thanks for watching this video guys. In this video, we use the basic linear algebra that we had learned in class 6 and 7. So, you guys have to keep your mind open for any type of problem, any type of application that you might be, uh, that might be required for your pre from your previous knowledge. So, if you did not understand this, please watch this again. And if you like this video, please drop a like. And thanks for watching this video guys. Uh, see you in the next one.